Andy's running away. Don't let him. Well, Andy's a coward. All right, I'm making the seed this time, Lunix. None of that garbage that you've been putting out. Oh, there is the coward himself. What's up, Andy? Thank you so much. Some free points again. You're going to make me lose my mind. Don't... <laughs> Andy, remind me where you're at in the tournament. Oh, it's be strong. Don't take the bait. Top 12, baby. Oh, it's why I don't ooh, take advice from better players like Eddie and Aussie so you don't lose so much. I'm about to lose my mind. I have to read another one of those messages. It's like a, um, like a glitch kind of thing, but I'm... They also said I can talk about... What people do is talk about, like, strats, and they explain, um... How to do things. Um... So, like, speedrun tricks, and... I am starting the game with space-time glitch, though, so... Just admit you don't want to do the GDQ thing. No, I, I, I think it's great. It's just, um... I have a lot going on right now in my life. So, I didn't have, um... Well, even if I did have more time to prepare, I feel like I need a lot of time if I want to, like, have an awesome glitch exhibition, you know? Which is not a glitch exhibition, but... They asked. It's like out of bounds or something. Um, which is like what talking about uh, like speedrun stuff and tricks and glitches and all that. his mind is out of bounds. Yeah, I know. All right, I got to focus up. We want bombing. The saving right there is the only reason I went down there is because I can just reload. No. If not, I never do that. That's stupid. I don't continue to go that way. Or I don't even go down there in the first place. Techno. So shut up. Jesus, Oats, I was just joking. I should take a little nap after this. Sounds awesome. Hope the others will let Oats win. Yeah, so if I win, it's because they let me, yeah. Listen to you guys thinking you're all clever and shit. And if you lose, it's your fault. Yeah, I know.
Wow. Okay. The Solsky jump. Hopefully this is like gravity or Aria. I bet we're gonna get a suit here. Seems like a suit kind of seed. Yeah. Uh, I am supposed to go down, right? Yeah, I don't even I don't even care about um Actually, we're just gonna go for it. Go for it. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna save. I didn't even, I just broke out of spin. Wouldn't happen with a hit box. With a shit box. I'm going, I'm doing this. I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna not do this. This is too much of a payoff. I almost don't even want the power bombs. We're just actually just gonna skip it. It just kind of sucks because, you know, that's all I got right now. Um, okay, so down right, uh, both. I'm, so I'm going to save first. There's a lot. Yeah, maybe on the way back. Go down left first, see what that is. Right, I'm going to focus. Pretty much good to go. Okay. Um, there's a very small likelihood that these items are trash, but to save again, and then I'm going to play aggressive now. Show these youngins how it's uh, how it's done. Watch me lose by thirty minutes. What? Uh, 
GG Oats, you did your best. Hey, whatever it is, I want it. I'm gonna show these youngins how we play Super Metroid. Oats comes in third place. Minus 40 points. Okay, let me look at the map here. So, what are my items? Um, so, I'm gonna go back up where I came. I'm gonna grab that power bomb, save. Um, go down, middle, revert if it's shit. Go back. Uh, top right of ship, right. Okay. All right, will do. Oh, it's it's dildozer approved. Let's go. Yep. Exactly. If I didn't have to look at the map for like more than one second, maybe I'd actually be good at these things. I don't know. Maybe not. It was terrible. <laughs> It's for sure. What a convenience in my life these are. You hear the dogs going crazy? It's because Raquel just got home. They're very happy. They are big babies. Should I start screaming? Ah! Ah! Well, it's too late now. I'm gonna have to go back to the boss. Is that why I never saying, oh my God, oh no. I'm down. Oh, the boss is right there. Fuck me. Eh, well, it was kind of, should've went there afterwards, but. Oh my God. I'm gonna keep this though. And these. Okay, this is good shit. We don't have a charge yet. This might actually help. So I, I did um, forget that Dragon was on that side. But um, I don't really need one more super pack, and it's like I'm kind of good to go. And um, Rip Spazer, yeah. All right. 
Trying to keep you motivated, man. Was it this way? Yeah. Yeah, because we that's Botswana. Which we have to kill Botswana on the way back, so I actually need to be slightly careful. Um Well, no, because I gotta always refarm right there. I just need to farm to where I feel confident that we're not going to soft lock. I'm going to say I can get back. No, no. I'll probably grab those missiles, though. Oh, thank- oh, yeah, that's great. Opening notes. Genius. Nice shooting, Tex. Maybe, you know. Okay, so I do have to, um, I do have to farm up. Why is that techno? Why? Because of his seeds that he normally rolls. Come on, I I need supers. Like I can't take this risk. It's too high of a risk because I just lose so much time. I want at least 50. 16 will do. So I probably lost a couple minutes so far because my routing here was bad. <laughs> However, maybe my routing was genius. Because if I didn't grab those two super packs, there's a risk that you just are fucked there. Because Bot's wound will eat your inputs. Can you really call it routing? Yeah, after the fact. Yeah, sure, why not? You guys say I'm bad after the fact, so shit, I'll call it routing after the fact. You guys say, oh, it's you should've known, dude. You should've known. 
Yeah, misplay on Botswoon's a soft lock. And that's terrible, because then you have to fight Dragon again. Alright, I gotta focus up. He could be good. Um, okay, so we're gonna grab... No, that's Spazer. The wrecked... Let's go this way. The wrecked ship. I'm Canadian of y'all. A Niv, no! dead end. I, I don't know the context in which I helped, but I'm glad that I helped in some way. That's gonna hit, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sick, sick wrecked ship there. Wow. All right, let's go see what this is. I'm just hunting for major items now, uh, or minor items, so I'm just going to go right for the map. I'm not even going to go through that door and look. I believe it's down here. Yep. Okay, Craid. Um, so let's go. Let's keep going down. Um, it's got to be Sand Pit. Sand Pit right. Okay. Hey, I've seen this layout before, kind of. Sometimes that left Sand Pit will loop and then lock you, and then that room is Ridley sometimes. It's so ass when that happens. It's not the same map, but it's you see the same pattern there. Get him, Nate. Um, I gotta see if this is uh super missiles. That's another item down there, isn't it? No. Um, so we're gonna go right down. But no, 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 no. right sand pit. Right, Sam. Chat, what should I eat for dinner after this? Oh, 
I missed the wholesome message. Assuming it's not a shit post message. Can someone post what that person said up there? Something about me. It sounded like a shit post, post at first. Like I overcome obstacles and struggle with simple puzzles. But maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I assume it's it was wholesome. Oh, good, good, good. Thank you, Emmett, since it's very difficult. Struggle and puzzle through ways of overcoming those struggles is what we're talking about. It shows me that with time, efforts, and patience, I can get improvement. And reminds me that even fractional improvement counts. Fractional, and fractional improvements are the only improvements that you make. It's when you think that there's anything other than fractional improvements is when you uh, don't improve. So, that's good. That's why people do get discouraged is because they don't realize that fractional improvements are all that you have. Yeah, they want instant massive improvements to show immediately. It's like when you go to the gym every day. You're not going to go to the gym and all of a sudden wake up the next day swole. Like you've been juiced up. No, it's going to take quite a while. Um. Oh, it's I got a zinger question. Oh boy, Elber can't wait. Do you believe in reincarnation? Ah, uh, no. No, here's the thing with that. I gotta still focus on this. If there is some sort of way that when we die, we, we experience life in a different way, that's great. And you never know if you might experience life but in a different way, not you. It'll never be you because I don't believe that your soul will get sucked out of your body and then shot into another being. You might just experience life in a different fashion. However, that's also a shitty thing because if that's the case, there is no picking. You just experience life as who fucking knows what which is a scarier thing. Okay, let's go down. Which is scarier to me than reincarnation. Because reincarnation is like, oh, you did good deeds. So now... You know, good for you. Now you gotta be a uh, dude with a 12-inch wang. But I don't believe in that. I just believe that um, if, if there's anything, you would just experience life in a different fashion. However, obviously, that life could be miserable. Absolutely miserable. You could experience life as that, yeah, the cucumber bug that I squished earlier. Because that's just, all we are is just a clump of cells. That's, that's what I believe. That we, then we, our experiences are what makes us unique and uh, shape us. So who's to say that you won't experience life as another clump of cells? And I'm sorry if you're like, no, oh, praise Jesus. That ain't the truth. I'm sorry. It's just what I believe. <laughs> here reincarnated as a prompt engineer. Oh, shit.
No offense, so it's you you make for a terrible grief counselor. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Red door right. It's hard to do that with the leg there. Get the proper height. So I'm just going. Yep, it is always vanilla. What the fuck is this shit? Didn't I already find Ridley? No. That was last scene, maybe? So hard to recall. No, that was last scene. I kind of just want to explore some of this to make sure I'm not um, missing out. Not yet, no. Uh, so, as of now...
Kind of just hoping to find um, Ridley. And then I can refill. And then, um... The... <sighs> The map is so far away, so this is when it starts to get tough. Is you make a play for a boss. It could be right here. Mother brain. Let's go for the let's go for the map now. Actually. Um, actually, I bet there's going to be, um, um, a save. Somewhere around here. Somewhere around these parts. Um, so what do I have? One more super pack would be nice. Still have Meridia. Shit, you know what? Birdie is a closer map. Rough. Very well. Ridley could very well be here as well. Um, see what this item is. Charge would be quite convenient to have. No. Go down. Now it's starting to get a little bit uh, rough at this point. This is when you have to like make decisions. Like staying in Norfair is nice, but that map is also a million miles away. So this map is actually fairly close because of this room. No. So if Ridley's not here, then so be it. Okay. Ooh. We need that. See what we're dealing with. Ridley. Okay, so go back and um, very top. I can try to just grab these majors real fast. I could save there if I really wanted. And then, um, well, I actually have to go that way anyway. It's very top. I should have just kept going that way. I was already kind of there. Kind of been the god around, but items. Oh, I don't even have Spruce Axe, so bad strap. Um, yeah, it definitely gets better. Wow, nice 
ice beams. Okay. Bunch of super missiles, please. That could have been worse. How does Zeb Skip work with ice? It has to do with like, um, like you stand on the thing that you freeze. Kind of weird. Killing 
Fat Fat Tune. Did Nevdi make some mistakes or like routing mistakes? I'm surprised that Lunix is beating Nevdi in this one. The Norference, the Torians. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, that that is a big mistake. Oh, okay. Let me see here. Uh, when you're playing these randos, what indicators are you looking for that help you get a sense of what the intended pathing is? If that's too complicated to answer, I can understand. Um, you get an item, so essentially the early game kind of plays out the same. You get um, morph, uh, speed booster, space, space jump, um, some sort of explosive, um, a missile, an E-tank. So like if you get space jump immediately when you start the seed, you know that's top right of ship. So. The game gives you an item, and then it it like makes like the next path accessible, which then puts another item. And then um, the way the logic works with Tricky is it puts the next progression, the next step, behind a uh, tough to reach spot. So. If you see like kind of a tough area and you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, I can probably survive. Or maybe there's like an E-tank I didn't grab, you should probably do it. Because then um, that's the next, that's where it places the next item, generally. The most difficult settings are stupid. <laughs> I can't even begin to talk about how dumb <laughs> it's crazy. The most difficult settings are like, all right, everything's possible. Good luck. Oh, this, you normally need morph to get through this. No, you don't. We'll give you one E-tank, and um, if you mess up one input, you're dead. You have to, uh, you have to do some crazy x-ray shit through spikes with, uh, with three health remaining. Good luck. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you later tonight. Emmett is live. Is he? Nah, I'm writing Denny. Emmett's live, you dumbass. Oh, he's not live on my following list on Twitch. I refreshed it twice. Take it easy. Have a great night, everyone. I'll see you later.